Hey, it's Matt with Replit here. Today I'm going to show you how you can build an app with AI with Replit Agent and Assistant in just a couple minutes. And even if you've never written any code before, even if you've never built or deployed anything before, we're going to go from an idea to an application and then make it live on the internet. We're going to share it with people. I'm going to show you why this is so easy. I'm going to explain exactly how Replit works, exactly how these tools work, and how I uh, build with these tools um, and what it's allowed me to do uh, in the past few months. So this is the Replit homepage. This is what you'll see when you, you know, purchase a Replit course subscription, get access to Replit Agent, um, and really can just describe anything you'd like to create. So we're going to say, let's uh, build a cat generator that displays a random image of a cat from the internet uh, every time I press a button. Pretty straightforward. Uh, now, if you're new to prompting, if you want to add more details here, you can click the Improve Prompt button. Then we're going to improve our prompt with some best practices, give it a bit more detail. Also notice that at any time you can get some ideas or add connections if you start improving your applications. We also have a handy Attach File button here if you want to clone a site. Um, you can also do things like mention uh, websites to take screenshots of them or directly copy the page content into your prompts. But this is an introductory video. I want to keep this one simple. We're just going to click Start Building. Now, um, if you build with AI, if you get into writing some code, you might find it intimidating if you've never done this before. I'm going to explain why you shouldn't worry about that uh, once we get started building here. But the first thing Agent does off the bat is propose a plan. And the plan is going to help us think about what we want to build. It's going to make sure it's building the right thing. And we can add some follow-up functionality off the bat. Um, so we're going to create a playful cat image generator um, using Flask and JavaScript. Don't worry too much about the frameworks if you're new to this. Um, and this looks like exactly what I want. I'm going to click Approve Plan. Agent's going to start writing code and configuring an entire development environment. And this is what separates Replit from a bunch of other options. We're creating our own environment with a file tree um, that you can run terminal commands in, you can edit these files, you can take these files with you, you can download them as a zip anytime if you want to, uh, which is pretty great. Um, and you can do things like add databases or add cloud services or add additional functionality, but you don't have to worry about that too much right now. Let's start with our app. Also, you're seeing a bunch of code being written. Again, don't get too overwhelmed. I think about building, like, building with AI kind of like um, learning uh, is a similar process to like if you take apart something like a clock, right? Like the clock already works. And what we're doing with Agent, we're getting to an MVP. So it's going to give us something that already works. And we don't have to worry too much about how that came to be or how um, all of the different components inside this thing work. What we have to worry about is, okay, well, like from this thing that already works, can I understand what's going on? Can I start taking out components or tweaking components or like adjusting little pieces to understand really how this thing operates. Um, and that's what building with AI is like. That's what building with agent and assistant is like. So uh, let's see what we got. I can click generate cat and we're getting cat pictures. This is kind of what I'd expect. This is cool, right? Um, so uh, what's next? We have our MVP agent helped us build this thing. I don't really like how it looks though. Uh, let's <laughs> let's ask it to, to change the UI. Uh, let's ask it to change the UI a bit. Can you change the UI to be a bit more beautiful and, uh, I don't know, playful? Um, use, like, I like emojis. I'm a big emoji guy. Use a cat. <laughs> use uh, emojis to improve the appearance of the app. Um, yeah, no, I think that that's a good start. Um, so how do I build with agent? How do I build with assistant? I usually start with agent because it configures that entire development environment. It's a really easy way to get started. Um, and then I'll use it for, you know, kind of broad sweeping changes. So like, oh, let's change the UI. Let's make some, uh, implement some more foundational functionality. Um, and then I'll switch to assistant for more fine-tuned edits. We'll see exactly how that works in a second here. Um, but as I was saying, right, like, I'm starting with something that works. I'm not worrying too much about the framework or what's going on in the back end or all the code, you know, like these different languages. But what we're going to do here is we're going to start digging into this application um, to learn more about it, to understand how it works. And if you do this enough, if you do this enough uh, times and you just like really are curious and thoughtful, 
you'll start to actually learn <laughs> about how these things work. Um, some other things to call out, agents taking screenshots. Uh, it's <laughs> I cannot do this demo with a straight face. Um, the agents taking screenshots. So it's actually taking snapshots of your app and checking to make sure things are loading as they should. Okay, so like there's a lot, there's some animations going on here, some moving parts. We're not going for the most beautiful cat generator image, but this is closer to what I want. Um, so now we have something that works. We're reloading the app. I'm going to switch to Assistant. Uh, and so I'm going to click a new tab and I'm going to open up Assistant. Now, why am I doing this? Assistant is really great for targeted edits. It's really great for uh, making smaller changes to your files. Um, and it allows you to really dial in the functionality of your app. Uh, so like we have this cat generator app, maybe we want to make uh, some more visual changes. I'm going to ask the assistant, can we add a dark mode to the app with a toggle button to switch between dark and light mode? Um, hey, you know, everybody loves dark mode. Why not? We need some dark mode kittens. Uh, <laughs> so assistant is going to read some files. Uh, and now it's going to show us exactly what files it's editing. Note that this is a bit more targeted. Um, it's going to show us exactly the code that's changing. So you can see, oh, hey, it's adding in this thing called CSS. Maybe I don't know what CSS is. It's adding a theme called dark. And it's defining some colors there that are different from the regular color scheme. And then in the HTML, we're adding what looks like a toggle, a button. Um, and then in the JavaScript, it looks like it's implementing these changes. So when Assistant makes changes by default, it's not going to apply them automatically. We can preview the changes like I just did and then click Apply. It'll make those changes and then restart the app. And now I have this button <laughs> that changes the background colors to be dark. Um, note that the, the text here is a little light. Uh, so maybe we'd want to change some of the text colors um, to make them easier to read. But you get the idea, right? We just made a change. Now we have a dark mode. Um, what else? So assistance better for iterating on these changes, seeing exactly what's going on. Well, you can also do things like create a new chat and say, like, help me understand the framework this app is built on. And assistance is going to look through the project. It's going to read the files in that directory, and it's going to start telling us how this is built. Hey, we're using Flask. It's a lightweight Python web framework. Uh, on the back end, we have Flap, Flask serving this app. On the front end, um, there's some CSS and some JavaScript. And the more you can understand these frameworks and these th think about these things like building blocks that fit into the application, the more you can then go on and prompt AI with this information to say, hey, you know, like that worked really well last time. I think I'd like a Flask app with vanilla JavaScript and Bootstrap for styling. Can you do that for me? And then you can start tailoring these applications that you're building with AI and you start learning what things AI builds well, what things it doesn't build well, um, and really how to iterate on apps like this. So this is a really basic um, cat generator. Uh, some other things about agents, some other things about Replit. One of the great parts about these apps is that you can add databases, you can add cloud services. I'll have follow-up videos on how to do this, but really this video is about getting started with Replit and building something. Um, so we won't go into that here. Uh, now, the most important thing, one of the biggest differentiators, is that we can deploy this in just like a couple clicks. So I'm going to go to this deploy button. It might say publish for you. Um, and there's a lot of data on this page. There's a lot of information. Don't worry about that too much. Um, we're going to recommend the best option for you. And then if you want to learn more about the different types of deployments that we offer, you can always click this video. Who's that guy? Uh, I don't know, man. He needs a different haircut or something. But you can learn more about that through video, through our documentation. Um, I'm going to click set up your deployment. This is going to be pretty straightforward. Uh, again, I wouldn't worry too much about like configuring these things unless uh, you want to learn about them. I walk through that in my video. I'm just going to improve. I'm just going to prove what Replit recommends for me. We'll call this Whisker Wonder. I love it. Uh, dot Replit dot app and click deploy. What's going to happen? We're going to take this application, we're going to take this entire development environment, and we're going to package it up for you, just put it on the internet. Really, you don't have to worry about it. Again, think about it like uh, reverse engineering. We're going to get to something that works. If you really want to go back and understand how it works, you can do that. Uh, the first thing to do is actually get the thing working, though. And the great thing about Replit is that if it runs, it deploys. So because this application runs 
on in our development environment, we can package that up and deploy it live to the cloud. So um, this typically takes two or three minutes. And when that's done, we're going to have an app that we can click. It's going to be whiskerwonder.repli.app. Um, we can also hook up our own custom domain. I'll make a video about that at some point. Uh, so it could be whiskerwonder.com, right? Like, you know, big .com domains guy, uh, you know, buy low, sell high or something. I don't, I don't know. Um, but again, the point I'm trying to emphasize here, very simple, very straightforward what we did. We just wrote a couple prompts. We got an app that worked. We deployed it. You can do this with whatever you want. You can add integrations. You can add databases. You can really start to nerd out about this stuff. I have a bunch of videos on how to do that, but this is the simplest way to get started using Replit. Um, I'll catch you right back here when this is done building, and we'll look at the final app. Okay, so it just took a couple minutes there. You can see uh, about two minutes, and we have our app. So if I click this URL, we're going to get exactly what we saw before, which is my cat generator, uh, complete with dark mode, uh, the whole nine yards. Amazing. So um, again, just like that, we took an application, um, we iterated on it a little bit, we added some additional functionality with agent, we added some additional functionality with assistant, and then we deployed it. Um, and this is the pattern that I follow up when I'm building these kinds of applications. Uh, again, don't stress out too much over the exact code that's being written. If you want to dig into it, if you want to learn, that's amazing. My recommendation would be get to something that works and then start iterating from there. Use the AI tools, use agent, use assistant, give the prompts as much context as you can. If you have screenshots, attach those. If you have URLs, attach them. If you have specific documentation for specific functionality you want to add, really great to copy and paste. I'm going to go over these things in different videos and really dig into how they work. But when you're building with AI, you don't have to worry too much about all the tiny details. You can go back and learn those later. You can actually ask AI about the details and it'll teach you about them. Um, but this is how you can get to a an application in like five minutes, even if you've never written code before. I hope this has helped you. I would love to hear more about what you want to see, what sort types of tutorials and learning content you're looking for. Uh, but until next time, I'm Matt with Replit. Peace.